Hey everyone. Hey Cancers. Hope y'all are doing great. Uh, this will be your weekly reading for the upcoming week. All right. So take what resonates, leave the rest, like, subscribe, share, hit the bell. So we'll get into it. See what's going on for you in the upcoming week here. Speak for Cancer. What we got going on? Please and thank you. All right. Ooh, your Chiron placement might be important right now. Okay. Chiron is in retrograde in Aries at the moment. Let's see. It ends a couple days after Christmas. <laughs> uh, it's post shadow ends that first week and a half, I would say, of January. All right. But I would definitely go check out your Chiron placement as well for more insight here, whether or not it's an Aries or not. Okay. All about healing, souls, wounds, pain, gifts, cleansing, spiritual growth, teacher, the Chiron's the wounded healer as well, making amends and illness. Okay. So we'll see what this is regarding here. Okay, 16 and 7, July might be a significant, you might be a July Cancer. Uh, or that month might be significant here with his thoughts. Big luck, 28 and 8. That is August energy. Could also be dealing with a Leo. Something having to do with the house. His luck, maybe a change in direction at home here. Okay. Maybe even thoughts about home. Might be healing. 20 and 2, definitely some kind of decision. February might be a significant month. And that would shortly be after Chiron and Aries goes into post-shadow as well. Okay. Chiron did start in July. <laughs> so that could be significant to particularly this particular retrograde period. Okay. One more spirit. Thank you. Seven of swords. Maybe something that needs to be investigated. Maybe something's unclear or seemingly deceptive. You have letter here. The surprise letter from a place remote brings good news from a friend who wrote. So this could be about a friend. If the words portend a stormy sky, sadness will soon much intensify. Okay, so maybe there's a little bit of worry. Let's see how it goes here. Queen of Swords energy. This could be about a feminine Gemini Libra Aquarius or from a Gemini Libra Aquarius, perhaps a friend. Wow, you have three nines here, 27, 9, and 18. So definitely something's near completion here for you. Yeah, working towards some happiness here with the Ten of Cups. All right. Maybe there have been some worry or anxiety surrounding something that you're now able to heal because it's actually turning out pretty beautifully. You're just waiting on whatever this news is to confirm or deny something. That's what I heard. Confirm or deny. Okay. Tell me about this letter, spirit. Feels like something coming to your home. So maybe like in the mail, a package, something along those lines. Okay. There's a turn of events here though. A big luck. Could be about money. It could just be about your energetic luck as well. An energetic come up, so to speak. I do get the sense that there's some happiness here. Something that's going to be loyal and joyful. Could be about family. Could be about marriage, a relationship. Could be a soul connection. We'll see here. What's letter spirit? 
<laughs> Something being given and received here with Six of Pentacles. Equal reciprocity. Yep. All right. Three of Wands. And King of Cups. <laughs> I'm just hearing that somebody has seen the light, okay? And now recognizes they need to give back to a situation in order to heal it. Okay. But that could be it, all right, in this situation for you. And it could be surrounding a Queen of Swords or something like that, maybe in your family. Tell me about his thoughts. Of course, the King of Cups could be you too. Maybe there had been a stalemate. Five of Swords here, stuck energy. Mm. So something's getting unstuck with the Eight of Wands here and moving and grooving quickly in an effort to balance the situation out. Okay. Tell me about the King of Cups, Spirit. <laughs> Is it this friend? Is this justice? All right. Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Definitely something new in the tangible here, long lasting. Maybe you've seen this coming with the High Priestess here. Half expected it, maybe. You've sensed it on the horizon. Like you know big things are coming around the corner once this gets resolved. Huh. Justice. All right. Libra energy as well. Okay, let's see what, um, what's, what's your advice for cancer regarding this situation, Spirit? I'm hearing go with the flow and hear it out. Okay. Maybe it's an opportunity for them to heal as well. You have Snow Leopard. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. So definitely think about it. This may put you up in your head. This may have you go into hermit mode, and that's all right. You might need that time. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. Polar bear. And two more. All right. Tortoise and meerkat. Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. And tortoise, you're too fragmented to do whatever it takes to get grounded. And it may be just this solitude that you might need. You might need to detach for a moment uh, just to recuperate from whatever news this is, okay? Maybe you weren't expecting this news, so it just comes out of the blue, right? And expects you to move quick on it. Like there had been some stagnancy and all of a sudden now there's movement. But you hadn't prepared yourself for that movement yet. What else, Spirit? One more. Get into nature, coexistence, gather, and limit waste. So be resourceful. Mind the environment, the totality of circumstances here. There may be others dependent on it, okay? We also have move your body, dance, breathe, and flow, okay? That would be a good way to get unstuck energetically, too, as well as to get grounded. Maybe put your feet on the ground while you do it. I'm getting the sense of just moving in general. It doesn't even have to be dance. It could be, you know, some kind of Tai Chi or something like that, or even just a walking meditation or something like that. You also have connect with water, ocean, water spirits, and hydrate. So water is going to be really important. Swimming. I just heard swimming. Okay, with both these cards. Swimming. Okay. Maybe it might be good to go for a swim. I know it's a little cold in some parts of the world right now. 
But who knows, maybe there's an indoor pool or a place where you can just dip your toes, okay? All right, throat chakra, 24, 6, and listening. Listen with the heart. Okay, hear things out. That's why I was hearing it. Hear it out, okay? Come from heart space. Approach with love. Highest frequency of all. 18 and 9 again. Now let's get to some shapeshifter spirit. Mermaid in a koi pond. And Alice in a sea of tears. Again, with this body of water references. Okay, so. Rediscover your individuality. Become the dragon. That's the story of the ascension of a koi fish to dragon going up these waterfalls, okay? So waterfalls might be significant. There's definitely some sort of transformation taking place here. 41 and 5, transition for the highest good. And number 11, Alice in the Sea of Tears, cast away out of your depth, feeling abandoned. So what I'm getting here is you're actually not so much being abandoned by a situation or feeling maybe you had been but you've been sort of set aside into solitude so you can discover what it is and listen to your heart, what it is that brings you the most joy, okay? Also, so that you can get grounded and know your truth in this situation with this person, okay? And maybe now they're coming back around and you have an opportunity to really kind of decide what you want to do about it, okay? Let's get you some final guidance from the Foxfire Kitsune Oracle Spirit for sponsor. Please and thank you. And I would definitely check your Chiron placement. There will be more insight there. All right. Number 33, good news arriving. 33 is a master number. You may be seeing those synchronicities as well as nines, okay? Leave behind what is no longer you. Sometimes when we feel we are being what is called by humans true to ourselves, we are in fact not being true to ourselves at all. At times we develop habits of self and who we are has become an old story we tell ourselves and others over and over again until it seems natural and inevitable. This, after all, is who we are, we believe. But the truth is now here for you. And some of who you have told yourself you are about you are is about to get a shake up, and you'll find yourself walking through the gateways into a new version of who you are and leaving behind who you once thought you were. Okay? I'm getting the sense that maybe it seemed truthful with this individual, but them coming back around will actually kind of remind you it's not, right? And maybe by being in solitude, you've had an opportunity to reflect on that. This will be a raw time, a time when we feel vulnerable and exquisitely sensitive. It is good work that we do when we no longer follow a pattern, but seek instead to become who we are next meant to be. But in order for this to take place, something must be left behind before you walk through this gateway. Choose what feels less true than it ever has before. And choose what still feels like a pattern you have attachments to. So I get the feeling you're going to get this person to equally reciprocate. And you're going to realize whether or not it's true reciprocation or not. Okay, You'll be able to make a decision on the fly about this. It'll be rather quick towards your own balance here, getting you unstuck. Okay? For once you walk through the gateway adorned with all the attachments and entwinings that Ivy can bring, we will cease to make our former self and others and responsibilities our major commitment. Instead, your own undoing and rebecoming will surface and demand in its place it's in this next stage of your life. This is a gate of freedom you walk under. First, though, put down the burden of attachment to who you believe you are, or more truthfully, who you believe you ought to be. Rebirth yourself, dear friend, and allow the gateway of the realm of the Kitsune to work its magic upon your endless reimagining of who you are. I love it. 
All right, definitely follow your Chiron placement. I get the feeling you're going to have more there, okay? Have a good one, all right? I'll see you next week. Bye, Cancer.